This is the Ura form of Shomenuchi Gokyo. It is important to control the elbow while stepping inward off the line of the attack. Nage turns powerfully in a downward corkscrew fashion, bringing Uke to the mat. Here the attack arm is controlled for the pin and removal of the weapon. For Gokyo grip, Nage catches Uke's wrist with palm up. Not like this. This is the omote form of Gokyo. Nage moves in with early timing, using three strong diagonal steps to turn and bring Uke down. After beginning the previous Gokyo technique, Nage has the option of passing under the attack arm, changing to another technique, in this case a Kokyu Nage. In Aikido, it is important to have options. If the initial move is not perfectly timed, or for any other reason the technique is not working well, dropping to the knee, blending with Uke's downward force, is crucial in this change of technique. Blending with the downward strike while turning to the side unbalances Uke before applying the Kotagayashi technique. Applying the technique at the wrist from a centered position while at the same time stepping away from Uke, makes this a very powerful throw.
This is the omote form of this Shomenuchi Sankyo. Cutting down the attack arm, Nage takes the wrist in hand, then pulls a strike to the face to capture Uke's attention while passing through a zone of vulnerability. To apply this form of Sankyo from the center, Nage pivots on the outside foot while stepping back on the inside foot. This is the Ura form. In this form, Nage continues to rotate to the rear. The tanto is removed during the pin. This variation employs a dropping throw. This begins as the omote form. After driving Uke back with the sankyo, Nage steps strongly in front and drops to one knee while turning his hips away from Uke. The coupling of the drop and the turn of the hips generates the considerable power of this throw. <laughs> 